Hi, I'm Carly. I'm an actor at Scarefest and I also am part of Makeup Trailer. They asked us to film a couple short makeup tutorial videos on some of the makeups we do in the trailer. So I'm gonna do some quick bruising, black eye, maybe some hollowing out the face, and a quick cut. So people that want to do their own makeup but aren't completely sure how can do their own makeup. So first, we're gonna start with a black black eye. I take the basic makeup sponges and I just rip them up into little pieces because ripping it also causes like texture. And I love texture in makeup. I think it makes everything look a thousand times better. And I have this little. Um, grease paint palette. It's like a bruise palette. Whatever I got it from the makeup school I went to. It's Graftobian. Um, also, a short little sanitation thing. If you're gonna do yours and your friend's makeup, clean your brushes in your makeup in between. I just use like rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle. So we use at makeup school. Um, also, for brushes, you can use like brush cleaner and stuff. It just keeps everything a little bit more clean. If you are super worried about it, wear gloves. If not, just hand sanitizer and washing your hands. Just, it helps everything stay clean and makeup. Who wants dirty makeup? So, um, for a black eye, I'm gonna go into the yellow and I'm just gonna go with light layers because you can always add more, but you can't take away. And then I'm just gonna go around and put it around my eye. Then I'm gonna go into the green. Now, a bruises aren't usually perfect circles, like black eyes and stuff. So you're just gonna try and avoid like the perfect symmetrical circle shape. Okay, and then I'm going to go into this red. Now you could always use a brush to do this too. I just like the sponges because they're disposable, especially when doing it on other people. I like to pat it with my finger because I just feel like it sets it into the skin a little bit better. It's just personal preference. Um, if you're doing it on somebody else, always kind of tell people try not to use your finger to pat stuff into the skin. I know it's really hard. I still do it. I'm so having I'm trying to break. But if you're just doing makeup on yourself, who cares? Pat it with your finger. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more yellow. And then maybe just a little bit more green. And okay, there is a black eye. Let's see, and you know, we're working in the dark. So if you want to bump up your makeup, it might look a little crazy in person during the light, but you have to remember. We work at night, out, and if you're working Hayride, or you know, the Forest Walk or other attractions, you're gonna be in the elements. So, um, yeah, bump up the makeup a lot. I'm not gonna bump it up a ton because it's just for a video, but all you have to do is continue to add more and add more and add more, and just deepen it, make it darker, make it more vibrant. And yeah, so there's your black eye. And then if you just wanted to do a quick little bruise somewhere else I'll show you like in my cheekbone area I'm just going to take another sponge 
go in with the yellow, the green. And a little bit of red. And then some purple. Okay, and then there's another simple bruise right there. And sometimes the paints can be a little shiny. Just powder them, set them in. And one thing you'll have to like be aware of, like when it rains, it will run. Same with water activated paints, because water. Um, the only ones I've noticed haven't been like awful is alcohol activated paints, but those palettes can get really expensive. So I'm not expecting anyone to worry about that. Um, but yeah, so just remember that the paints anything's gonna run in the rain it's, you're not gonna have perfect makeup when it's raining i it really stressed me out my first season working at scarefest and then i very quickly realized that nobody cares we're doing the best we can it's raining so and i want to do a quick hollowing out of the face i'm just going to use like black eyeshadow um if you have like makeup dirt that's awesome it's just like this brown powdery substance but brown eyeshadows and black eyeshadows kind of do the same thing. I just use brown and black eyeshadow. Yeah, make yourself look dirty. Just get into some, some browns. Dirty yourself up. I use a big brush because I want to cover a lot of area at once because you just want to be really fast. You do not want to be perfect with this. Now you like you don't have to put all of this together. I'm just doing it so I can show you everything in one video. But if you just want to do one or the other, it's totally fine. It's up to you. It's your makeup. You can do what you want. Um, so it's dirtying yourself up and then hollowing out. Just grab some black. actually going to bring this up here. And then just go, you're just gonna do in like all the hollows of your face. So I forgot I dirtied myself up there. I was like, why did I push it that so far that way? I didn't. Um, so just hollow out like your temples and just all of the deep set points of your face. And then if you want, you can grab a smaller brush. You can do it on your neck too.
remember though, like, if you just do quick, simple stuff, nobody's gonna see that. So it's gonna be dark out, so you want it to be, like, intense. Um, just nobody's gonna tell. Nobody's gonna be able to see that from far away, first of all. It's like theater makeup. It has to be really intense, because you're gonna be on a stage from far away. And you are gonna haunt a house, so you want everything to be kind of bumped up so there's howling out and then I'm going to grab that water activated paint this is I always say the name of this brand wrong I always say Mahrone but I think it's Mayron I've called it Mahrone ever since I got into makeup it's a, so I'm just not gonna break from saying that but um it's paradise makeup AQ face and body paint it's just, just going in with black it's like solid and then you just put water in it. Just a little bit, like, cause you don't need to get it soaking wet. Like, I don't want it to drip, but I, the whole thing doesn't even look red right now. I don't want it. See, okay. Um, and then we just grab a blow brush. Uh, for special effects makeup, I use cheap paint brushes because the brushes are gonna get destroyed. Um, you don't want to use like. A nice beauty brush because special effects makeup is a, a like it's gonna destroy your brushes and no matter how much you clean them you're gonna go through brushes a lot so you might as well use cheap brushes and then this is how we do really fast cuts um, we don't use anything because it takes too much time so I just draw a line to make it look deeper I try to taper it off but sometimes I just don't so, and then yeah, that's how the water activated paint goes on. So I just would not use that for bruising. And then we take coagulated blood, let that dry a little bit. I take a, I always use like a carving tool. I have plastic carving tools, but you can use a cheap brush if you want. Um, it's just good luck getting it out of that brush. You're going to be working at that. Then you take coagulated blood and you just kind of follow the line with it. Okay, so my camera cut off while I was doing this and I didn't notice. So I'm just going to kind of leave everything on my face but go through everything I did really fast. Um, so this is a carving tool I use to spread this blood all over. You drew the black line and then you just kind of follow the line with coagulated blood and threw some down a little bit, made it look a little messy. And you could take the same coagulated blood and make it look like it's coming out of your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, whatever. Just make your mouth a little dirtier than you need than it should be. Um, you know, just make your mouth look a little dirtier, it's fine. Look like you're biting stuff. Um, but don't get the coagulated blood actually inside of your eye. It doesn't, it's not really supposed to go there. <laughs> it's not made to go in the eye, so be careful with that. Um, so yeah, this is some of the makeups we do really fast in the makeup trailer. We do, if you want to do face paint type things, definitely get like water activated paints. They work the best for it because they're super like intense when they're going on. Um, yeah, if you want to use liquid latex, you're going to have to dedicate the time to it. That's why we don't use it in makeup trailer because it uh, it takes a really long time to do it um, but if you want to dedicate the time to do that you use liquid latex and like tissue paper build up I use toilet paper when I use that and you can make cuts and everything I did um, Chelsea Grinella my first season of Scarefest using, using that uh, do not use scar wax that will not last a whole night at Scarefest it will melt right off um, but yeah you can use eyeshadows water activated paints grease paints if you're feeling fancy alcohol activated paints I only have like one or two palettes of those because they're really expensive. Um, but if you're looking for brands, there's Ben Nye, Mehron. Um, I use Ben Nye Fresh Scab Coagulated Blood a lot. And I actually love Spirit Halloween's Coagulated Blood. It's also on the cheaper side. If you're looking to do it cheap, just get all your paint, grease paints and everything from Spirit Halloween. And they, their little makeup section It's where I got most of my makeup when I first start, started getting into it. And yeah, it does the job. So, hope this helped. <laughs> Sorry if it didn't. Um, have fun. It's going to be a great season.